Well, if you were in town last Thursday, there's no way you could have missed that moisture that swept through Grand Junction, a wicked storm. It changed a few people's lives, too, including several in households in the Paradise Hills part of Grand Junction. That's north of town near the airport. Our Timber Schumann joins us again to bring you their story and what the city will do about the situation. I actually picked my kid up from my parents' house. I just fertilized the lawn and I heard the thunder coming, not thinking anything of it. And my neighbor next door, who's a pretty non-dramatic guy, called me and said, our backyards are flooding. 1.2 inches of rain in 18 minutes. It was stacking up behind everybody's gate and then it was tearing everybody's fences down. Kitchen. So we bought the home back in the uh, later part of 2017. Uh, fell in love with it, kind of the, the open beam, felt like the home I grew up in. Our priority is to just try to get back in the house. Um, fortunately, we had a second floor, but we're kind of living in our kids' playroom right now. And to be back in the house, I'm hoping the next two months and then the rest of it probably over the next year. Again, we're just trying to do flooring. Actually, at the end of Catalina, they had five feet of standing water in their houses. We had one major flood um, probably 25 years ago. This is the first one into the house. It filled the whole first floor with about, what, four inches of water and mud. All the carpeting and flooring and uh, bottom cupboards are going to have to be removed. It was clear to the floorboards. We called our insurance company and they just basically said it was an act of God and you don't need to call us anymore. We're trying to figure out who's responsible for the ditch that overflowed that's full of trees and grass and debris that caused this flood to knock out at least 28 houses in this neighborhood because we don't have flood insurance because we weren't aware that this is an issue. You can't get flood insurance. I was fortunate, my other neighbors were not. The silt that came down, the mud, was so slick we could not walk across it to get over to help our neighbors. It was very difficult, but we did. And we kept thinking the city's gonna show up, the city's gonna show up. They did not show up. So Thursday night following the storm, we had staff, we had staff on site. Um, we sent a crew out with a skid steer and, and dump truck. Ideally, we have street sweepers and we will send street sweepers out to clean the roadways, um, but they need to be dry. Just the wet mud will basically just push that mud around and make it more of a mess than good. Probably by the end of Thursday, we'll, we'll have the majority of the cleanup done. As a family, we stuck together and just looked at the blessing that we were still all together and, and safe and that this is just a house and it's just stuff and it's all replaceable.